Welcome to Easy in Trade daily video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you for joining me. On Tuesday, it was all cheers for the Australian dollar as the market leaps through 64.05 and rallies on to its objective for 64.65. However, the market did exceed and now posting a fresh intraday high of 65.06. This all started after the US dollar, which measures the greenback strength against a basket of six major currencies, plummeted to 103.95 as the US Consumer Price Index or the CPI revealed slowing inflation. Traders now for the Australian dollar look towards Thursday's Australian employment report, which could keep the market afloat, as an anticipated number is for a rise in job growth to around 22,800, with the previous very low of 6,700. The unemployment rate is expected to edge up from 3.6% to 37 in the US, inflation called by more than expected last month, fueling hopes of the ending of interest rate hikes in the US. The CPI eased by 0.4% to 0.0% month on month, or 3.2% in the 12 months to October, down from 3.7% a month earlier. The so-called core inflation stripping out for oil, food and energy prices also slowed to an annual rate of around 4%. The below target core and headline inflation is cheered as well now that the Fed may actually have be done hiking interest rates. Furthermore, if we see a break above this key level of 65, 25, 35 could fuel an extension onto this rally and look towards 65, 75. So with a weaker to the US dollar index, the euro also surged and now looks towards the region of 109. A very firm pattern here and therefore could see the challenge very easily. Keep an eye on that level, which is seen around 109.35 to 40. There's a break there would extend the move up to 110 or even up to 111. Very bullish, yes, but with the dollar index being crushed and with little or hopes of an interest rate hike and now talks of a rate cut in the US next early next year, could see weakness to the US and a firmer currency for the euro. Looking ahead, We've got the ECB commentary from Christina Lagarde on Thursday and Friday. Dolly Yen also found weakness after struggling to push any higher, reverses, and therefore now looks towards the bottom side of its range, anywhere to the lows of 148.75 to 149.05. A key level as a break there would give further exposure down to 144.5. The British pound also skyrocketed during the trading session on Tuesday against the US dollar and now looks further to the top side of 125 area. A break of 125, 60, 65, however, which is seen around this level here, could see further exposure up to 128. A good support line coming in here and therefore the bulls are clearly navigating close to this Marabuzu candle and therefore a little pullback. Still to come is the UK Consumer Price Index CPI for October, which will be released later today. The monthly and the annual UK inflation figure are expected to rise by 0.1% and by 4.7% respectively. The core CPI numbers estimated to climb by 5.8% year on year in October as well. Moving on to gold, the market since staging this rebound or stab at 1,924 strengthened the move. A very strong hammer and now looks towards the top side, coming in around 1,970. That may even extend on towards 1,982, considering the technicals have firmed up. Wrapping up with oil, a little bit mixed at this current level, but I still feel there is a little bit upside considering the rejection from 74.5. I could see an extension on towards 79.2050 or up towards $81 a barrel. Well, that's a wrap. Thank you for joining me. And as always, look out for the intro report. I hope you enjoy the great start to the day. Thank you.